My name's Alan Cohen. I'm here today to talk to you about Beit HaLachem. What I did in order to really get to know the charity was I joined up with a scheme, uh, a, a tour really, which was organized by Canadians. And my wife and I went out to Israel to join that tour, which lasted just over a week. And that gave us an opportunity to see in depth what Beit HaLachem is all about. The thing that amazed me was the high standard of which was going on of helping these people who were severely disabled. They were doing work which I think was in excess of anything that's done anywhere in the world. Places in both Britain and in America in particular used Bethlehem as an example of how to deal with veterans who are injured or people who are injured and disabled severely. They were doing it to such a high standard. They gave people who'd lost limbs or lost eyesight, uh, were totally disabled, a feeling that they could still contribute in life, they could do something positive. And it's how they did this that so impressed me. There was all aspects, whether it be the arts, or whether it be history, whatever it may be, to make these people feel that they had a contribution to make and were able to be active in this world. I saw in one of the swimming pools a, a person who'd lost both limbs being helped to learn how to swim. And the trainer was in the pool with this particular man. When the trainer got out of the pool, I realized that the trainer had only got one leg. And so they had the most extraordinary people who were training others. And so disability trained disability. I think that in this country, people do not appreciate, certainly on the scale of supporting people like Beit Lachem, the importance of a legacy. I can put it to you this way. On the major charities that we all tend to know about, the animal charities, the dog charities, the health charities, some 50% of their income comes from legacies. And without these legacies, they would never be able to operate. The same really applies here. So they need the legacies. And however much effort is made to raise funds on a day-to-day -day basis, you need the, the, the legacy side. Well, that's my story. And that's why I've been supporting Bethlehem. <laughs>